Hi everyone, Jesse from Harkridge here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Stamp Tool, which is a new sheet metal feature in SolidWorks 2024. Before I do, I just want to mention I did not create this motorcycle. I wish I did. It's a beautiful model, but I want to give the creator credit. I downloaded this off GrabCAD, and the link is in the description if you want to go ahead and download this and take a look as well. Now I'm going to zoom in on the back tire here, and I want to remove the motorcycle and the strap. So I get a good look at that little wheel well that we created using the stamp tool. Before this year, you would have had to create a forming tool and then use that to press that shape into the sheet metal body. But now new in SolidWorks 2024, the stamp tool allows us to just use a regular closed contour sketch to create that geometry. So I don't need another solid body. I'm gonna go through the steps I took to create this very quick and easy. So I'll just suppress that feature and we'll start from scratch. First thing we do is we need to create a sketch. So I'll create a sketch on that face. I'm a big fan of construction geometry, so I'll just use a center line tool from that origin and then a center point rectangle. For my small side, I want that to be 100 millimeters. And then for my larger side, I'll dimension that to 200. Finally, I know I want this 370 millimeters from that far edge. So I'll put that dimension in as well. Now my sketch is fully defined and I'm good to go. I'll use my S search key to find the stamp tool. So I'll just hit the S key, then type in stamp. And because my sketch was pre-selected when I open this up, I'm immediately getting a preview of what that stamp could look like. Now the first option in that property manager is going to be my depth. How far in do I want that stamp to go into that sheet metal body? I also have the ability to reverse that direction. Do I want it to go up or down? Well, in this case, I want it to go down at a depth of 15 millimeters. The next option here is my draft angle. And you're only going to be able to apply inward draft here, which makes sense because we're assuming we're stamping this into the sheet metal body. So you have to put a positive number in. I'll put in a value of 30 degrees. And then we have upper and lower radiuses for those edges. I want my upper edge to be a little smaller than my lower. I'll make that upper one 10 millimeters and I'll make the lower one 30 millimeters. And finally, my favorite part of this property manager is the punch side corner radius option. Notice as soon as I check that, all those sharp corners become nice and rounded for me. And I'm going to put a pretty large radius value in here because I want a good oval shape. And there we go. I'll accept it. And as simple as that, we've created that wheel well using the stamp tool. And because this is a SolidWorks feature, I can throw this in a linear pattern like almost any other SolidWorks feature. I'll go ahead and select an edge for direction. I know the spacing between the wheels on that motorcycle, so I have that in here already, and I'll accept the command. That is everything. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel, and go ahead and throw a comment in underneath and let us know what you want to see next.